the Cadre. Tis Saturday morning. <clears throat> Got a couple new things for you. One of them's not till the post shave. Um, so if you want to catch all the exciting parts of this video, you got to watch the whole thing. If you only want to catch the new items, you can you can look at this brush and then we'll fast forward. You can fast forward to the uh, you know, post shave. Let me see. You can see I'm not wearing my downstairs shave shirt today. I'm gonna I'm rinsing off the little bit of the lather so you can see this brush again. Like all, especially natural materials. The, the beauty is in person versus on camera. This is another one from Grey Dog on the Shaving Cadre, who is being super generous uh, with his Cadre brethren. Um, and the cool part about this one is this is, um, uh, I know, but I'm sorry, did I say black oak? Black walnut. It's black walnut. Um, but it's black walnut that he said his uh, son retrieved from a hundred year old schoolhouse. Um, and then uh, ended up in my in my, my little hands. Dave in Kentucky, am I not allowed to appreciate that? That somebody, you know, over a hundred years ago, chopped down this tree, honed it, built it into a schoolhouse, all of the children that were educated in there, and now it's being revived on YouTube for you to watch me shave with. Hey, Dave using the Occam Oren, uh, uh, another Dave. Um, really, I I'm got a petition going around that only the, the, the Dave seemed to have signed to rename uh, the Shaving Cadre to uh, the Dave Shaving Forms. I just can't get, get traction with that outside of the group of Daves. And uh, <clears throat> quite honestly, you know, people do join, say hi, and then disappear sometimes. We managed uh, to uh, bamboozle quite a few of them into sticking around, but um, I lose track of how many days there are in the forum. I believe there are at least six. There very well could be more than that. In fact, I know that there's at least six. Yet, many more that wish they were. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, the brush was the... Uh, the first new thing. Oh, I'm using um, Name Inappropriate Shaving Soap from CBL. Uh, that in includes the name Dol Dolphin in it. Um, and it's funny, Steve, uh, Grey Dog, when he sent it, um, I made a comment in a video, I think, and a post quite some time ago about uh, back when the COVID thing really hit and needing to get to Costco uh, to get my pistachios. They have become my nightly my nightly treat. Um, my parents got me a cool pistachio bowl where you put the whole ones in shells on one side and it's empty on the other side so you can put the empty shells over there. So every night it's a Bowl of pistachios and diet something or other. Uh, instead of all packing peanuts, included a little bag of pistachios with it. So when he, he posted a picture of that, so I knew it was coming, but I thought that was pretty funny that uh, he recalled that. And in addition to giving away brushes. And it was cool. This that brush was entirely uh, free to me. Not only given by Gray Dog, but uh, the the knot. Um, we have to send him knots to put in the brushes. But the knot. I'm not normally a, a big knot knot queen. Not too picky. Uh, it's functional. Um, and I thought about doing just doing it big style and getting the you know. $150 high mountain, whatever to put in there. 
But I went exactly the opposite direction because I had made several purchases around that time that I probably should not have. Um, so this is just a Maggard's synthetic knot. Um, I just decided to go with synthetic. It's got the second hair out of that. Hopefully that's not an omen. Um, but I had won a uh, Maggard's gift card. From uh, Barber Dave. Uh, Barber to those of us that are on first name basis with him. Uh, from Maggard's. So that actually covered the cost of the knot and the shipping. So I was pretty proud of myself with that. Um, what else? Man, I don't want my obsessions to roll over into video all the time. I'm talking about the same thing all the time. But uh, freaking, I realize the freaking internet, freaking YouTube. You know, there's been some talk about, uh, you know, there's always talk about our obsessions uh, with shaving and buying too many soaps and this and that and enabling each other. And uh, so I'm, I'm kind of self-enabling. I'm, I'm just starting to learn about whiskeys and specifically scotch. And uh, so, of course, the Internet makes that a lot easier. Um, and I found a YouTube channel that I find very entertaining. Um, as well as informative. So I've been watching the heck out of that. Um, and and I, so now I sit here thinking, you know, I've got several small bottles to try and then taking sips and doing the tasting. And then, you know, after that, my uh, intent is just to have a glass. I'll just do one glass in the evening. Uh, have a glass of each one over the course of however long, like experiencing actually drinking it versus just taste testing it. Um, but every single day, I'm thinking, oh, I want to go buy this one. I want to go buy that one. I want this. I want to see what that one tastes like. <sighs> if it weren't for the internet, I don't think that'd be as much of an issue. I wouldn't hear about all this stuff. Of course, that's a, that's a big duh. It's just kind of hit me while I was thinking about which, which other bottle I wanted to buy just to try out. And like, you know, before the internet, people probably didn't go down rabbit holes quite as quickly or as deeply as easily as they do now. So, man. See, and I had to point out today, poor Barber Dave, he got a little flack on one of his videos for somebody, you know, saying, anyway. Uh, telling him that they, they disagreed with something he said, which is fine. And he's cool. He knows that's fine. Um, but he, he did say that the Vector is the best razor ever made. And that's why I have to take my time to point out he's just wrong. Because this, because look at, can you feel this? Can you feel how smooth this is? Yeah. So the Vector likely could have gotten just as good of a shape. But then look at that thing. That is so cool and different and it just makes the experience so much better. So there you go. That's the best razor there is right now. Yeah, we're working up to the other new thing, but believe me, you're gonna wanna see it. I believe it's a first ever. Um, Ever. I'll just leave it at that. I'm sure it's a first ever. I gotta rinse out this this brush in this bowl. I will tell you, um, it is brought courtesy and thankful to another cadre member. These cadre guys, they're the biggest bunch of sweethearts. Um, Kyle. He goes by you a cowboy on the forums. He keeps the lights on for you. Um, but his wife got himself a three, or got, got, got him a 3D printer for Father's Day? No, wait, is it a birthday? It seems like you got a couple of gifts just here very recently, Kyle. Um, no, it was earlier than that, so it must have been a birthday or something he got it for. What the heck did you get a present for, Kyle? Anyway, he got a 3D printer, 
and he offered up his services to everybody. And uh, so I had him make some pin holders for me and uh, they turned out very, very cool. And then, and then KJ got all whiny about uh, how there really should be a razor holder and at least I could take a picture of one with a razor in it. So I'll take a picture of today's setup with my pen holder with a razor in it uh, just to make KJ happy. Um, and we'll use that as the whatever you call it um, for YouTube for the, for the video. We'll post that up there. But here is the other thing he kind of did on his own is I got my Nivea 2-in-1. What's that in there? What is that? It's a dolphin. That's right. Dolphin skin BBS. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? He he knows I was trying to get a uh, little, little boat for in here and couldn't find one small enough. And he tried printing some 3D boats. Um, but they wouldn't stay upright. So I said, well, we just... Just try a dolphin. It doesn't matter if it's upright or not. It's just swimming, swimming in the, huh? How cool is that? Let's see if he can survive. Survive. Up. Oh, there he is. He's on top. Yeah. Very cool, Kyle. Very cool. So um, he's got, he's had uh, some 3D printed parts in his, I believe, Osage or something like that. Um... My only concern is that all the all the alcohol and stuff eating it up. So we shall now see. I just put it in there uh, before I took my shower. So it's been in there a little while. I don't know, maybe at least 15 minutes or so and it's all right. We'll see. We'll see. There's backup bottles just in case. I got so excited about showing that to you. I did not do the Thayer's Lemon. And I'm never going to go a day without my Thayer's Lemon. But I just did the two-in-one. We don't want to overlap, but I, I like, I love the lemony smell. So we're just going to do the backs. we we'll do little arms. Mm. Uh, so that's it, guys. Um, I am going to finish up. I got the, I'm digging this stuff, the Yardley talc. I'm going to do that. And then, um, food mineral. But I'll do that all off screen. You've all seen that. Nothing special. Anyway. There you go. How cool is that? Huh? See you on the forums.